Hey guys, it's Ray here with the kiddos. You can see them all chilling over here. My shoulder's gonna kind of block Ben. Sorry, Ben, I guess I could scoop a little bit. Today, I'm filming a video that I totally meant to film like a long time ago, and that is a q and I asked you guys on Instagram to give me any questions that you had and you guys delivered. So today I'm gonna be answering those. I hope this setup is okay. I just got a brand new external microphone for my camera. I got it as um, a piece of equipment that's going towards a very, very huge project that I am about to start working on. Not doll related and I don't wanna say anything about the project yet because it's still in the early stages but it's something I've been wanting to do for like forever and it's like a dream come true. So I've got a crazy setup going on here, but I hope the audio is going to sound better. Uh, if it doesn't sound that great, I'm still kind of getting used to setting up the microphone and having it record and not be too loud or too quiet, so I apologize if it sounds like crap, but if it doesn't sound like crap, then great, that's awesome. Also, before I get started, I wanna thank you guys so much for almost 17,000 subscribers. Around this time last year, we just actually hit 1,000. So that's absolutely crazy how my channel has grown in the past year, and it's all thanks to you guys, I really appreciate it. Don't don't forget to check the description for all of our social media links as well as our P.O. Box address. You guys were requesting that I get a P.O. Box, so if you want to send us anything, address is down below. Yeah, I guess let's go ahead and jump right into the Q&A. So as you guys will see, I will try my best to put all of the questions up on the screen so you can see who sent them in and everything. First question is, what is the best thing about being a reborn mommy? I would say that the best thing about being a reborn mom is probably all of the other reborn moms that I've met through the community. Just the reborn community in general, besides the dolls, I would say the community is probably the best thing because there's a lot of awesome people out there and it's cool to meet so many other people, not only my age, but just other people who share the same interest as me. The next question is, how many reborn babies for you is too many? I would say the max number of reborns I would ever have in my collection is five and that's kind of pushing it. I like even numbers, so four is probably where I would stop. I like small collections. I've had bigger doll collections in the past and it just gets, I don't know, I like having a more individualized bond with each of my dolls, so I like to keep it small. How did your family react when you bought your first Reborn? My family really didn't care that much. They were just kind of like, okay. Like my mom, when I asked her, can I get a Reborn? My mom was just like, it's your money, like go for it. I was already kind of collecting dolls, so it wasn't really something that they were like, oh, you want to collect dolls or, you know, anything like that. So really there wasn't much of a reaction. I think my dad was like a little creeped out at how realistic they look at first, especially when I got Gracie. He was just kind of like, didn't expect them to come in a size that big and God only knows what his reaction would be if I ever had a reborn child that would probably be kind of crazy but yeah they didn't they didn't really care okay so here's a couple more all from the same user we have how did you get into reborns so i'm gonna briefly cover this because i have talked about it before and if you guys would like a more in-depth video just me talking about how i got into reborns i can do that basically i first discovered reborns i had a channel for my american girl dolls and one day a video popped up in my suggestions and i just found them from there that was really it just through youtube i would say next question is why do you have reborns? I have reborns for a few different reasons. One is because I just love collecting dolls. I've always been into dolls, so that's really just kind of it. Um, I have them kind of as a, I don't want to call them a coping mechanism, but a sort of like therapy. I have severe anxiety and depression among other things. And these guys are just, they're great. It's really crazy how just holding, you know, essentially a baby can like kind of bring this sort of like calming feeling over you. Like any Anytime I ever have like a panic attack or anything, I just I instantly go for one of these guys and it's very helpful. It's it's really crazy. That's why whenever people think like, oh, doll therapy sort of thing, it's like, don't knock it till you try it. What are some of your favorite things about Reborns? Like I said before, the community behind 
you know, reborns in general. I also love the art form. I absolutely just love how different artists can have different styles for making these dolls look so realistic. And of course there are artists who do alternative reborns like zombies and vampires. And I really appreciate the art form just behind reborning in general. And I've painted a doll and I know that it takes a lot of time and work and it's not easy to make one of these guys. It really isn't. So, um, and of course just them in all their glory, really, I guess. <laughs> so a couple more questions from another user. Do you ever plan on getting a full body silicone? I'm not planning on it. I think silicones are really cool. However, they are a lot of maintenance and they're extremely expensive. I think silicones are amazing in how realistic they are, but I don't know if I would ever get one just because I don't know if I would ever save up and spend that much money for a doll and then to have the maintenance that goes into keeping them looking their best and keeping their paint from peeling and that sort of thing. But who knows, maybe, maybe if down the road a bit I might get one but I'm not planning on it. What is your dream kit? Uh boy. I can't really say like dream kit because I would say like each of these guys is my dream kit but one of my all-time favorite kits is Katie Marie by Ann Timmerman. What are your favorite baby girl and boy names? All of their names of course. I can't really say like any specific names because I don't really have anything like in my mind that I haven't used already. What do you think about the twin A and twin B kits and would you buy those kits? I think they're absolutely precious. Oh my goodness. I love Bonnie Brown's sculpts like just as a whole. She's an incredible, incredible artist and sculptor. Um, I love twin A and twin B. I totally would buy those kits but not for my personal collection. I would love to buy those kits to paint and reborn and then sell them whether together or apart. So that's kind of something I would like to do someday. Out of all your reborns, which one is your favorite to take out? Probably Eli because he is my only sleeping baby and the sleepers are very easy to kind of take out and not draw necessarily a lot of attention to yourselves. So Eli is probably my favorite. I have taken him out a few times before. I would however love to take Ben out just because he's so gosh darn cute. Who is your favorite artist? See, this is kind of a hard question because obviously every artist that I, you know, have a baby from so far is my favorite because I adore everyone's work in a different way. Do you prefer open eyes or closed eyed reborns? Both for different reasons. Um, I would love to have another sleeper someday just because again, they're easy to take out and they're just so peaceful looking. I love open eyed toddlers. Um, really, I like both. I really, I don't have no preference. What is your favorite size reborn? As much as I love the little ones, I love toddlers. They're so, so, so much fun. I absolutely adore Gracie. She's easily the most fun to do videos with and role play with and everything, so probably toddlers. How many babies do you have in your collection so far and do you want any more? Well, always want more. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yes and no to the want more thing. Um, like I said, like I want to stop at a collection of four, possibly five. I'm really picky. Like I'm not a spur of the moment. I'm going to buy that doll kind of person. Like I really like to plan out my collections. So it's kind of like, yeah, I'd like more, but only if the right one came along or if I got a custom. As for how many babies I have for my technical collection, I would say three, which are of course these guys but if you want to just say reborns that I own I technically do have five I still have William who has been put away and I still have Lexi the little baby that I painted last year I'm just gonna keep her as a keepsake of the first time I ever painted <laughs> this question I think is kind of funny do you like having reborns Yes, otherwise I don't think I would have them. <laughs> would you ever take them on an outing while doing a video? Um, definitely, yes. I have done that kind of before. I'm still working on my courage to take these guys out. Everybody keeps asking me, take them out and do a video, do an outing video, and I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. It's a big step for me just going out anywhere by myself, so taking one of these guys 
figures out. I'm working on my courage still. I, you know, social anxiety is not a fun thing. So I definitely will get out there one of these days, don't worry. <laughs> what sort of features do you look for when picking a baby slash sculpt? What are some features you dislike in a baby slash sculpt? Features I look for when choosing if you want to talk about like physical features aside from like hair, well, this is kind of a tricky question. I really like this question. I just have to think of how I want to answer it. I would say if I wasn't getting a custom, if I was getting a sleeping reborn, for example, I want to choose one that really looks like a realistic sleeping baby. So like Eli was great because I just love his expression. I love how his lips are. One thing I dislike in sculpts, and it's kind of funny because Ben's kind of the exception, is I'm not a huge fan of babies that have both of their hands and fists of some kind because they can't really hold on to toys and that's kind of tricky for role play and stuff. Eli has, as you can see, his right hand is in a fist but his left hand is open. Ben, however, has, you know, the classic Saskia hand and then his other hand is in a fist. He was just too darn cute to pass up but that's just I don't know, not one of my favorite things. So if I was gonna choose a, another baby, I would probably look for one with either both hands open or just one in a fist like Eli. It's a really hard question to answer. I could do a whole video just talking about like features I like in sculpts and stuff I dislike, what I look for. If you guys wanna see that as a whole video, comment down below, cause I don't wanna take up too much time. Still have a few questions to go through. Toddlers or babies? Toddlers, not that I don't love the babies, but toddlers are just, they're more fun. Do you like sleeping toddlers? I mean, like they're cute, but I personally wouldn't get one just because I feel like you'd be kind of limited as to like videos and stuff that you could do with a sleeping toddler because they're sleeping and toddlers are usually always, you know, awake and wandering around and being mischievous. So I like sleeping toddlers, but I would probably never get one. Do you want more reborns? Again, if the right one came along sort of a thing. Do you like twin reborns? Yes, I love twin reborns. However, I'm not a huge fan. I mean, if it's done right, but I'm not a big fan of when people have like identical twins and they're the exact same skull. Like one thing I think is cool if you have like an awake version and then an asleep version of the same sculpt That's cool. But yeah, I like twin reborns like twin a and twin B are easily two of my favorites They're absolutely precious. How hard is it to have three reborns? I mean, it's not hard per se It's just kind of a matter of like, you know, I don't dress these guys like every day. I don't always do stuff with them every day. I usually like will pick just one to do something with at a time unless it's for like a specific video. It's not really hard. Would you ever do a reborn swap? Probably not, no. I, just because first off, I'm not getting rid of any of these guys, so that's kind of that. I've heard of a lot of horror stories of people swapping reborns and like one person sends a high quality reborn and then the other person kind of scams them by sending not as high of a quality reborn. And it's just kind of, I don't know, swaps are really iffy if you don't know who you're swapping with. And even then, I don't think I would do a swap or a trade but that's just me. What tips do you have for new reborn moms? Don't pay attention to what other people think. Their opinions don't matter. If collecting reborns makes you happy, that's literally all that matters. So don't listen to other people because there will always be people who are gonna say, you know, that's weird or they're creepy kind of a thing. And you just take, take those comments with a grain of salt. Be proud of your hobby. Be proud of your collection. Don't be afraid to have fun with them. You wanna t treat them with care and take care of them, but I think it's, Unless you're a collector that collects specifically for display purposes, I think it's kind of sad to see some reborns that just kind of sit on a shelf because they're someone's too afraid to, you know, take them somewhere or take them out of the house because of fear of something happening, which it's good to err on the side of caution, but don't be afraid to have a little fun now and again, as long as you take good care of them and treat them with the caution that you would with a real child. Which reborn do you think you play with or role model with most? So I'm assuming that means like role play. I don't know, I th I'd like to think I spend a pretty good even amount of time with each of the kids, but probably, I think Ben has 
been one of my favorites lately. I really like Ben because he's like a fun size. I like, he really sits in my arms nice. He's a nice weight. I love putting him in the car seat and stuff. He's just a cute guy and I've just been really enjoying him. Why is Gracie York your favorite Reborn artist ever? Um, because she is my queen and she's perfect and awesome, duh. Like, gee, I would have never guessed who asked that question. Do you like role playing? Yes, I do. I have a role play Instagram account, but I haven't done anything on it in a long time because I don't know who the heck to do a new story with and I just haven't been inspired to do it. But yeah, I enjoy role playing. I think it's a lot of fun. Babies or toddlers? Again, probably toddlers. <laughs> Open eyes are sleeping. Both, if that's an option. <laughs> favorite kit ever. Again, if I had to choose favorite kits, probably Katie Marie by Ann Timmerman. Boy or girl? <sighs> probably boys. I don't know. I just bond better with boys, except for Gracie. She's she's the one exception. She's my special little girl. And dream baby. Again, I don't want to like give it away sort of a thing, but I do have a dream baby. If you follow my Instagram, you'll already know what I'm talking about. This is probably going to be a very long video, but those were all the questions that you guys sent in from Instagram. I will definitely do another Q&A in the future, and next time I will let you guys on YouTube here ask the questions, and that'll probably be another huge video but uh, yeah um, one quick thing I want to say before I go is I really <sighs> shameless self-promotion here I have a link down below in the description to my personal slash kind of just regular old human channel and I'm 15 subscribers away from 600 on there so if you guys want to ever see what I do in my life outside of Reborns please go check that out 99% of the videos that I've been posting on there are all horse related so if you're also into horses or you just kind of want to see what I do with my horse and this weekend although this video is probably gonna be up after this I'm going to a horse show not showing on my horse I'm showing on one of my instructor's horses who is phenomenal and I love him. He's great But I'm gonna have two videos from this weekend that will be uploaded I also have another video that's in the works of being edited and then that will be up and also the huge project that I kind of told you guys a little bit about earlier will eventually be posted on that channel as well so if you guys want to go subscribe, the link will be down below. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. As always, thank you guys so, so much for liking, subscribing, commenting, and just being your awesome selves. We love you so, so much, and we'll see you in the next video.